For the purpose of our exercise I want to create a simple building form as a mass object. So under the Families tab I'm clicking New Conceptual Mass and then I'm going to pick the Mass Template and Open. At the moment what I have in here are, is a, a, a Level 1 and two reference planes where they cross, that would be the origin of my building, the zero, zero, zero. And what I want to do is I'm just going to draw a rectangle and be careful to look at the options uh, bar here and make sure that you've got level one, level one selected. And I'm drawing that kind of around the where the, where the reference planes meet but not to any sp specific size. I'm then going to position this sketch by placing dimensions. So if I go left side, center plane, right side and click to place it and then hit the equal sign, that's going to make for equality or symmetry around the, the axis and then I'll give it an overall dimension. I'll do the same on the other side where I go back line, center line, front line, place and then hit the equality constraint and then I'm hitting the back line, front line, place the dimension. Uh, and I'm going to I'm going to give them parameters. I'm going to turn them into parameters so that I can drive this where this is going to be building depth and this is going to be building width. So if I click on the dimension up in the label I say add parameter and uh, here I'm going to call this building depth and for the one at the back I'm going to call that building width. So you select the dimension and on the label tab you say add parameter building width, click OK. And you might just want to kind of pause and make sure that this works the way that you want. So flexing the model is if I go up to the family types and I actually make those 50 by 50. Is my building um, flexing correctly around the origin? And it is, so I'm, I'm good to go. If I select the actual line work itself, I can now say create form, a solid form. And uh, you notice that it defaults to a, a kind of an arbitrary height really depending on what you drew. But there's beside that height, there's a symbol that says make this temporary dimension permanent. So if I click on that, that becomes a permanent dimension. If it's a permanent dimension, then I can select it and I can say add the parameter and we'll call it building height. So if I go back to my, uh, my uh, family types here, if I were to flex this to make sure it's working, I could say what if I make building height 50 feet, does that actually change the building? Yes it does. Now the way this works is that what you drew on the bottom was a profile uh, and when it extruded it up it made a, the same profile on the top but they're, they're independent of each other. So if I actually pick on the top surface, if I, if I were to say edit profile, then I can go inside, I'm going to remove the, this straight edge and draw an arc instead. I'm just going to use the 25 foot radius to, as an example. And then when I'm finished editing that top surface, I'm going to say, oh, OK, finished. That's my, that's my building. <coughs> now what I'm, what I'm going to do is use this as the example of the surface that we want to put our parametric adaptive components on. So we'll save this and we'll use this later. So I'm going to say save and we'll call this, um, I think I have one already, I think I called it 
sample building mass form. <laughs>